All right, thank you everyone for watching my last video, my Made in USA video. So this was not a one-time thing. We're gonna keep up on this. Today our project is some uh, hose reels that we cut on a plasma table earlier. You saw a glimpse of that in the video before. What we're doing here is we're putting this cart together which by the way this cart is made in Italy and this plasma cutter here is engineered and assembled in the USA whatever that means and uh, we'll be installing this air dryer here kind of like kind of like this down in here So we got to make some modification to make the stick. This air dryer here, by the way, uh, sold through HTP America, made in the USA, multi-stage uh, air dryer. It really enhances the lifetime of your plasma cutting consumables. You have like uh, water and solid remover, oil remover, the desiccant stage, and then final filtration and regulation. So, and then, before somebody says, what plastic boxes do you have here? I have a couple air fittings in here and these boxes, believe it or not, made in the USA, sold at Menards, reasonably cheap, like three or four bucks a box. And then uh, as I was looking further over my bench, I saw this $300 Lincoln helmet and I really wanted to find out where it is, but then luckily I had the box still. Yeah, not USA. So. We're gonna keep an eye on this, see where stuff is coming from, see if we can give any hints and pointers here. So um, the cable though that we're using on these plasma cutters, we made some 100 foot extensions. We found out the cable actually is made in the USA. So there you go. All right, the way how we have done this is we cut this middle part with all these slots in there because we don't have a roller or a press brake, a front part and a back part. And now all we have to do is conform this part to that part by bending it up, weld the top on, there's, there's our hose reel. Now we're gonna weld this on, we're gonna weld that on, we're gonna weld part of the slots up, it's only holding a little bit cable, it's not gonna be that critical, and there you go, that makes a hose reel.
So now, for all you guys that say there's nothing affordable made in the US anymore, as we're painting this here, Menards, 96 cents a can, touch and tone. And uh, what did we find out? Made in the USA, here we go. 96 cents a can, so much for, there's nothing cheap that's made in the US. If you wanna buy cheap, you need to buy something else. Here you go. Is it the best paint? I don't know, I'm not a painter, I'm a welder. So ask a painter if you wanna know. So here you see a couple pictures of the finished product. The cart with the air dryer and the plasma cutter and a drawer on the bottom for consumables with the both torches, the straight one and the angled one, 100 foot extension cord and 100 foot air hose. It worked out pretty good.